Dr. Fauci is still around. One of the only carryovers from the Trump administration, one of the only people who haven't completely exploded their reputation as a result of being in the Trump administration. And now he's free to tell us a little bit about what he actually thinks. So we've got a couple of videos of him um, giving us an idea of what's gonna be happening with the COVID uh, you know, plan that's being rolled out. Uh, but here he is first. But it was very clear that there were things that were said, be it regarding things like hydroxychloroquine and other things like that, that really was an uncomfortable because they were not based on scientific fact. I can tell you, I, I take no pleasure at all in being in a situation of contradicting the president. So it was really something that you didn't feel that you could actually say something and there wouldn't be any repercussions about it. The idea that you can get up here and talk about what you know, what the evidence, what the science is, and know that's it. Let the science speak. It is somewhat of a liberating feeling. I I bet it is. Um, and so, look, uh, having him around is good because he has a lot of experience in this area, and the American people actually trust him against all odds. It's a miracle being a part of that response, but actually being trusted. So. I'm glad that he feels freed up to to even there to more directly criticize some of the things that were stressed about hydroxychloroquine and all of that. Um, it's good to see. Just to look back and reflect on the period where that same podium saw Trump standing there instead of Fauci. Fauci and Burks against the side wall demoralized as Trump said. At a time when we were just finding out about this crisis, but he had ostensibly and undeniably access to more information than us, which he did not ever use, said, let's look into injecting bleach into people's bodies and yep. let's use light on people. And the hubris of a sociopath like that to think that A, it came off well, and B, that he actually convinced people that what he said was not in earnest later when he found out only after the blowback that it was a dumb hmm. thing to say. Yeah. Like and and now we just we, we're at a time and it feels like the chimpanzees who get let out of the the windowless room after living there for their entire lives. Like uh, it's just the sun, it's just outside, but I'm looking around and seeing Dr. Fauci, the nation's foremost epidemiologist be able to say, I get to use the things I've learned and mm -hmm. say them to people in earnest. Yeah, yeah, he, that he gets to to actually say what he believes. And if a member of the administration says something insane, he in theory gets to say that. I don't, maybe we'll have a test of that. I have a feeling that Joe Biden is probably not going to talk about injecting stuff, but maybe we'll see. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.